beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy anytime we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy anytime we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to this. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so on you and you here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too you were blessed stay blessed pray prayer just one prayer and say, Lord, I insist that something must change in my life tonight. Please lift your voice and pray. We have not come to waste our time. In any of the overflows, make sure you are praying. Our online community, follow us strongly as we pray. Hallelujah. Make sure you are praying. I place a demand on your grace, oh God. Place a demand on your grace. I've heard others testify. It's my turn to testify. Please make sure you are praying. This is part of the service. Jesus, we bless you. Are you praying? We're provoking the heavens to respond to us today. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Psalm 30 verse 5, just two scriptures, and then I'll give us a charge and we'll trust God to really, really pray. Hallelujah. One of the things that God is going to be doing tonight, um, aside from the miracles, the healings, is I really believe with all my heart, and the Lord began to speak this to me um, two weeks ago, that there will be strong impartations. Hallelujah. An impartation is a transference of grace. Your possibilities in the kingdom are defined by the kind and the order of grace that is at work in you. It's not defined just by desire. Hallelujah. Desire alone cannot be sufficient for results. And so your possibilities are defined by the kinds of graces that you carry. And so I want us to please pay attention um, even as I teach. Hallelujah. Please, someone play. Thank you. Psalm 30, verse 5. It says, For his anger endured but for a moment. It says, In his favor is life. Let's read the other part together. I want to read. Weeping may endure for a night. It says, But joy comes in the morning. Hallelujah. It says, Weeping may endure. In other words, it is not unusual when we are challenged by situations that rattle our convictions. We, we live in a world where um, you don't have to look for trouble for it to come. Hallelujah. The moment you are born, there are all kinds of vicissitudes that come with our lives. From those that are self-inflicted as a result of ignorance... Um, to those that are as a result of um, um, the wickedness 
that exist in our territory. Hallelujah. And so we must sustain a system in the spirit to be able to rise above these limitations. Hallelujah. And the Bible says that weeping, weeping there is symbolic of sorrow, is symbolic of pain, is symbolic of setbacks, is symbolic of frustrations. And the Bible says, though weeping may endure for a night. Hallelujah. It says, but joy, hallelujah, joy cometh in the morning. In other words, this, this is a very strong message because the Lord is saying the same way there is night and day. Are we together? The same way there is night time and there is morning. Whenever you see that there are situations in your life that cause you to weep, he's saying there is a system in the kingdom that when properly operated is able to bring you to the other side of your pain. Joy. The same way you see night is dark right now and we anticipate the morning in a few hours. Is that true? So I can be in a situation that is hopeless and know that in Christ, all I see is not all there is. The same way there is day and night, there is another side to my pain. Say amen. amen. This is a message of hope. This is a prophetic message. Are we together? The Lord kept laying this in my heart very strongly. Are we together now? That though weeping endures for a night. Let me tell you something. If you have never been through a challenging situation, you may not understand the relevance of this message. Are we together? Look at the lady who was sharing her testimony, you know, with nephritis, the whole kidneys, you know, on their way to being completely damaged. Now, for this kind of person, she's not thinking marriage, she's not thinking children, she's thinking life. Are we together now? Yeah. There are many people like that, seated, scattered all around, trusting God with all kinds of medical death sentences, hoping that God will be able to step in tonight. But I have good news for you. The Bible says, though weeping endures for a night. Then it says, joy comes when? In the morning. Isaiah 60, Isaiah 61. Please, can you play something? Is that all right? Okay. Isaiah 60, 61, sorry. I want you to pay attention to what I'm about to read because this is very, very instructive. We're reading from verse 1. To 3. Are we ready? It says, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He said, He hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted. Listen, please. To proclaim liberty to the captives. And the opening of the prison to those who are bound. Then it says, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God. To comfort all that mourn in Zion. Let's read verse 3, the first sentence. One, to read. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. Stop. It says, do weeping endures for a night. There is a system that whenever morning shows up, with that morning there is joy. But he never told you how that morning comes. But now the prophet is giving us a revelation that there are human vessels anointed to call your night morning. He says to appoint. The word appoint means to decree it so. Since we have established that joy will always come with the morning, it means there's got to be a system that can call a man's night to become morning so that with that morning his joy comes and he says the spirit of the Lord is upon me and has authorized me to call to appoint unto them 
that mourn in Zion. It says to give them. It says it as though you are a possessor of it. To give them beauty for ashes. The oil of joy for mourning. Then it says the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Are we together? It says that they may be called oaks or trees of righteousness that he might be glorified. And then it says my people shall never be ashamed. My people when it comes to turning their darkness to light they shall never be ashamed. Why? Because the spirit of the Lord is upon me and part of the many things that he comes to do is to grant capacity to appoint unto men. Benga was sharing at the welcome note and he said in 2 Chronicles 20, 20, he says, believe in the Lord your God. He says, so shall you be established. He says, believe in his prophets and so shall ye prosper. It's not human worship. It's a system in the kingdom. Are we together now? There is a system in the kingdom that brings men into their glorious destinies. We've explored the mysteries of the kingdom again and again. We just finished a series on the secrets of the kingdom. And please, especially for those who are just coming, I encourage you to get those series and listen to them with all your heart. Because the operation of the kingdom is systemic. And when you understand the systems of the kingdom, then your victory is guaranteed. It's not if it will happen, it's when it will happen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And part of the things I believe God is going to be doing tonight is to appoint unto men seasons. Let me tell you something with prophecy. You see, the realm of the spirit does not have time. Listen, please. The realm of the spirit does not operate with time. Are we together? Events only unfold according to the will of God not just according to the passage of time. So the regulator of the activities in the realm of the spirit is the will of God, not your clock. But when it comes to the earth realm, our activities are governed by time. Whether or not you want, time is passing. Are we together? Now, let me tell you something about prophecy. Prophecy has the ability, listen please, it has the ability to tap into the realm of the spirit and find out what would have been your prophetic destiny that has been altered in time. Are we together? And by that grace of prophecy, you can take it because there is no past and future in the spirit. And so, the devil may have messed up your five years, but the prophetic is able to pick that five years and make it your tomorrow. Because there is no time. Listen, listen. Prophecy does not just reveal, it creates. It makes possible what would never have been possible. So the prophet looks at a woman and says, by this time, tomorrow. He was not revealing what would have happened anyway. The prophetic word created it. Hallelujah. This is the thing about God that truly makes me convinced that all things are possible. All things are possible because whatever leaves you in the physical did not live in the spirit and there is still a system that can bring it to become your current day experience so a woman who should have given birth to five children and for whatever reason has been delayed prophecy is able to shift that miracle and make her have triplets and twins are we together now yes do you believe what i'm saying Listen, if you don't believe this, then we're wasting our time. Because we're talking about the God of all possibilities. I will die believing him. He is faithful. Hallelujah. Let's look at just one more scripture. John chapter 10 verse 10. Jesus was teaching and he said this. He says, the thief cometh not, King James. The thief cometh not, but for to steal. And to kill and to destroy are we together but then it says i am come i am come it's a manifesto like you say vote me i want to do something for you and then it says look the thief cometh not but for to steal 
to kill and to destroy he says but i am come that ye may have life and to have that life more abundantly other versions say to the fullest the bible identifies satan as a thief are we together and what is the character of a thief let me tell you a thief studies an environment and takes advantage of the vulnerability of the people second Corinthians, second chronic um, corinthians chapter 2 uh, i believe give us second corinthians chapter 2 holy spirit help me verse 11 there's a scripture that just came to my mind as i was talking too thank you lest satan should do what take advantage are you seeing that lest satan should do what take advantage of us it says for we are not ignorant of his methodology there is a system with which satan destroys people the first system is to study your vulnerability so he waited until jesus was hungry and he came through that angle of hunger are we together one of the many blessings of growing in the world is that you close every access point for satan to be able to take advantage in your life the area of the kingdom you are not furnished and established in will become the access point of darkness in your life are we together he said lest satan should take advantage of us we are christians but because of our inaccurate understanding of the systems of god satan can leverage on our ignorance satan can leverage on certain spiritual possibilities and buffet our lives write it down i've taught it again and again but i want to repeat it very quickly there are only three ways satan has access to people especially believers only three ways number one covenants covenants this is the system of transgenerational allegiance whether towards god or towards satan a covenant creates a platform for access regardless of the individual openness of the people a territory can have a covenant with god to find expression at all times when david was dedicating the temple he stood up and said oh lord whoever faces this temple in jerusalem and prays unto you we pray it's a covenant that you hearken to them so when daniel was about to be destroyed when they signed a law the bible says he opened his window towards jerusalem remembering the covenant are we together and the bible says he prayed covenants they are fraternities that we come into whether with god or with demon spirits that authorize certain levels of activities in lives in families and in territories please pay attention I'm building a conviction in us so that we'll pray. A covenant is so powerful because in a covenant, your, your individual refusal or acceptance does not necessarily change things ordinarily. Are we together? I give you an instance. They did not consult with you to change fuel price because there is a covenant. By birth, you are a Nigerian. Are we together? So whatever happens to this country, as an individual, you can exempt yourself. But as a territory, we are under a common challenge. Are we together? When Jesus saw somebody who was born blind, his disciples asked a question. He said, who sinned that this man was born blind? He said, him or his father in other words there was something in the teaching of jesus to them that had taught them that there can be things that transcend a generation are we together and transcend a territory now there are several people in a bid to bring balance to the exaggerated um activities of demon spirit we have deceive people into believing that covenants do not have anything and so we have people jumping and say no way but there are 11 people in a family none of them is giving birth yet they are they do not want to admit that there is something wrong covenants are powerful covenants are respected in the realm of the spirit there is a law that without the shedding of blood there is no remission of sins so the word had to become a lamb and go through that condition for mankind to be saved there are families born again 
but they do not understand the systems of God. Your personal salvation does not affect your territory. It takes an operation of the kingdom for that reality to be established. It is not negating what Christ has done. The confusion here usually has come from an accurate or an inaccurate understanding of the prophetic speakings of God and the experiential manifestation. Follow me please. When God speaks, he speaks from the realm of his possibilities and he's prophetic in his communications. He called things that be not as though they are. Are we together? But when it comes to the experiential manifestation of the same, there is a partnership from this earth realm to make it real. In the eyes of God, no one should go to hell. Is that true? Because the price has been paid. Are there still people dying and going to hell today? Yes. Does that mean the work of salvation is... is, is, is um, is a failure no the people have not opened up their will there are many of us today by the grace of God who will be healed but scripture was not just written this night it's been written before our forefathers were born however tonight there is a principle we are going to engage in that will make it become real are we together now yeah listen sickness should give us an understanding that covenants are real if you are a Christian and you are tongue-talking and you can still fall sick, that means you are a Christian and you can still be buffeted by demons. There is a spiritual logic to this. It is not insulting your salvation. It is to help you understand that there is, there is, there is an understanding that will give you freedom. Please, I want you to pay attention to this. Many individuals, especially those who love God, are victims of fraternities the goal of covenants is to create transgenerational allegiance whether to God or to the devil the missionaries came and brought the gospel of salvation but they did not bring the gospel of the kingdom so malaria killed them you call it malaria we know what killed them are we together because there are systems in the kingdom so you can be born again your eternal salvation can be secured but then because we do not understand the operations of the world we can just pretend and say everything is all right faith is not foolishness the end of faith is a manifestation if you are trying trying and nothing is happening i think it's it's very it's very humble to open up yourself and say look i see patterns the clearest proof of an existence of covenants is patterns similarity of happenings regardless of the individuals they rob your brother in a quiet bomb your sister is minding herself in benway they rob her too two of them were not discussing it because you see covenants give access to certain operations of of spiritual beings whether god or satan i can enter a covenant of righteousness with my family that can grant god access even someone who is an unbeliever can come under the corporate covering of that covenant that's what brought people out of egypt so long as there was blood whether the individuals believed or not for as long as they adore a representative of the people had blood the angel of death passed covenants i have seen this i saw it in my own life i saw it in my own family I've seen this in the life of pastors. I've seen this in the life of sincere people. Number two, ignorance. The second access point is a lest Satan should take an advantage of us. On the strength of our ignorance in this area, ignorance. Ignorance. Incomplete understanding of the principles of the word or no understanding completely both of them in the spirit is called ignorance whether you know the principle or you know part of it is still ignorance because you are only having um the bible says you will arise and you will shine isaiah 60 verse 1 not because you are tired of sitting but it says your light is come it's always been there but the day it comes to you it has the power to cause you to arise and shine ignorance that's why we spent three weeks expounding on the mysteries of the kingdom 
to help us understand the systems of God. Listen, the journey of a believer starts with Christ. It does not start with principles. It starts with an encounter of the person Christ. When you begin to study principles outside of an, the encounter of Christ, you will get into Scientology and witchcraft and mysticism and spiritism. You must encounter the object of your encounter is the person Jesus. Are we together? From that standpoint of encounter, he reveals himself to you. He brings you to a point of intimacy. And your reward for intimacy is power. And that power is divided into two. One, power that comes from the understanding of the systems of God. And another dimension of power that comes as a reward for intimacy. So there are two dimensions of the operations of God's power. Number one is the dimension of his power that is programmed into his laws. By believing those laws, the power is released. Whether you are praying or not. Seed time and harvest is an example of such laws. You engage it and the power of God is released. Are we together? Yeah. But there are certain dimensions of power that will only be released on the strength of intimacy. So it is from that standpoint of encounter, you begin to explore the systems of God. The systems of God defines his way of operation. And the moment you comprehend that, then you will truly access power. Ignorance. You can be born again and be ignorant. Number three, disobedience. The last access point of Satan is disobedient willful refusal to comply with God's principles willful refusal that's disobedience you're not doing it out of ignorance the Bible says having the readiness to judge all disobedience when your obedience is complete not when you start when it's complete Deuteronomy 28 from verse 1 and 2 says, And it shall come to pass, right, that if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord, to do and observe all that I command you this day, it says that you shall be exalted above all nations, and this blessing shall come upon you and overtake you. Then he begins to list them. It shall come to pass. If thou will diligently. Joshua verse one, uh, chapter 1 verse 8 right the lord was speaking to joshua and then he says this book of the law shall not depart from out of your mouth he says but thou shalt meditate therein day and night that thou mayest observe to do all all not some observe to do right then he says then shall thou make thy ways prosperous and you shall have good success it's very important obedience 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 is not just hearing what god has said obedience is doing what god has said in john chapter 2 when the servants came to mary she said whatsoever he tells you to do he said do it hallelujah paul the apostle was encouraging the the early church and he said now that ye know these things in fact it wasn't just paul i think it was jesus himself he says, now that you know these things, happy are ye if you do them. Now that you know, happy are ye if you do them. These, brothers and sisters, as mysterious as Satan looks, this is the only way he can find expression. His possibilities are finite. They are not infinite. Number one is covenants. The strongest access point to Satan or of satan into people's lives and then number two we have ignorance and number three disobedience and that's why we are gathered here tonight that god will grant us grace to take advantage of the provisions that have come in christ and end this this buffeting of darkness over our lives and destinies and i pray that it will be someone's testimony tonight in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray for you from the depth of my heart that as God begins to touch people, he will touch you and end this captivity in your life once and for all. 
Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. Listen. I want you tonight to believe God. Do not come to God carelessly. Listen, the Bible describes the kind of attitude we must have when we come to God. Hebrews 11 verse 6, it says, For without faith it is impossible to please Him. He said, For he that cometh unto God must come believing, must believe that He is. That means He exists and then that He is the rewarder of them that diligently seek Him. So every time you approach God, you don't come to try. Let me find out whether God can touch this cancer. Let me find out whether God can end my captivity. No. You come to him believing. Say I'm a believer. So tonight I want you to approach the mighty God. Knowing that he's able to do all things. Believe me. You have your requests. You have your needs. Take your eyes away from that infirmity. And believe in God it does not look it can be within the twinkling of an eye and god will change your story it doesn't take him time god is not a carpenter he doesn't build by nailing things he builds by speaking are we together now he called darkness light and it became light i really believe god and i came here tonight trusting that god will touch us it's going to be a very quick walk that's why I'm taking out the time to speak to us. Very quickly, let me just take the altar call now. Look up, please. Let that be the first miracle tonight. Let's take the altar call so that as we begin to move and just flow, we'll just move in one single sweep. There's a lot to do tonight and we want to save time so that we can finish on time. I told you that there are three access points of Satan. One covenant two ignorance three disobedience are we together john chapter 3 from verse 16 says for god so loved the world he said that he gave his one and only begotten son who is no longer his one and only but the first begotten of we because he has called many of us into glory are we together then it says that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life the thing i love about the faith life is that you are never forced to do anything your response in the kingdom is always a product of revelation and your willingness if you are willing and obedient then you will eat the good of the land there are people seated here right from praise and worship there are so many listening to me the first overflow and all the overflows around there are so many connecting uh, you know on our social media platforms and you're hearing my voice right now and the holy spirit is telling you the man of god is talking to you the first miracle that can happen to you tonight is the miracle of ending the mismanagement of your life by trying to run it your own way are we together that you hand over your life when you come to Jesus you don't just come and accept him in your heart you take your heart and say Lord I give you everything not I give you my spiritual life I hand over my entire life to you everything I've been through Use it for your glory, Lord, I offer my life to you, everything. That's true repentance. That as you come here, you are not just coming because you are feeling guilty. You are coming here sincerely saying, I'm tired of mismanaging my life. There's got to be more than this. There's got to be more than living my life the way I want. I must come under authority. And I know there are so many people inside and outside hearing my voice. 
some of you have never made this decision to make Jesus Lord of your life you've made a decision to go to church you've made a decision to join a religion called Christianity but you have not made a true decision to surrender everything and there are people there's another category I'll call all by uh, at, at once so that we'll save time there are those who at one point you truly made a genuine decision but the cares of this life the challenges in your life just overwhelmed you and right now you know that as it is right now as it is right now you cannot say things are all right between you and God you've backslidden you've you've turned away but the Bible says if my people who are called by my name it says shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then it says then we lie here from heaven and will forgive their sin and then will heal their land forgiveness will always follow healing are we together I'm going to make an altar call right now any of the overflows outside inside here very fast I'll count one to ten listen there are people the Holy Ghost is speaking to and you know that you need to make your ways right with Jesus you're saying Lord things are happening in my family I do not even know the name of what is going in my family the first key is to surrender your all to sacrifice everything before his throne and say Lord I'm not just coming to receive healing I'm coming to start a new life it's called Zoe God's very life not another kind the very life of God hallelujah praise the Lord before I make the altar call I want us to all close our eyes and pray in one minute intercede for those who are about to come and say Lord no power will stop them from coming no power will stop them from coming we believe in the salvation of souls this is not a cinema where we are watching football this is a place where God is changing lives and destinies pray as you are praying for many of you the Lord is going to be speaking to you right now there are so many outside in all the overflows it's like you've been waiting for a man to call you and say return home he's calling you he's calling you hallelujah now I'm going to count one to ten wherever you are please I'd like us to begin to celebrate them outside inside don't wait for others you are returning to Christ and you are making this decision for the first time leave your seat and make your way quickly one we we'll count one to ten don't wait for anybody God bless you they are coming two please clear the way for them outside don't let no friend stop you Jesus is calling you no 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 you are doing you are doing a very noble thing don't let any friend please encourage them outside if you came with anyone don't stop them from coming out God will punish you if you stop anybody from coming out because he's your friend it's, it's, it's an entirely um, it's a personal affair God bless you keep coming Koinonia a sacrifice of your applause to motivate them and encourage them Jesus, Son of God, I believe in you. I believe in you. Keep coming. Jesus, Son of God, I believe in you. I believe in you. Hallelujah. The Lord is still speaking to me that there are people you need to make your ways right with God. In fact, the Lord is showing me at least three ladies. You've not prayed like for the last two months because you are asking what I have done. Will the Lord really, really open up himself to me? And the Lord is saying you should make your way to the front. Clear the way for them, please. Clear the way. I don't care whether you are a pastor, you are a prophet. 
make your way to the front this is serious business i believe there are still people outside in the overflows the first the second overflow and across the road please make your way to the front we are going to wait for you one more minute we are going to wait for you we are going to wait for you please don't play games with god tonight this is your destiny he wants to bless you he says for i know the thoughts that i think towards you said the lord jeremiah 29 11. he says thoughts of peace thoughts of good and not of evil to bring you a future and an expected end i believe in you i believe in you let's all sing this song one more time and then we'll pray for them jesus son of god i believe in you i believe in you hallelujah i sincerely want to appreciate us young and old we're all here to receive jesus christ look at me please if i if i give you a new phone you don't accept it as though you are embarrassed you accept it with gratitude salvation is greater than any other thing you will be receiving tonight are we together and so i want you to be very proud of what you are doing whether you are being restored or you are giving your heart to jesus for the first time just make sure you are not reciting a poem make sure this is from the depth of your heart are we together lift your right hand high to the heavens and say this after me i'm just guiding you but the most important thing is the sincerity of your heart say after me lord jesus i believe in you i believe that jesus is the son of god i believe that he died for me i believe that he rose again for my justification tonight I make Jesus my Savior, my Lord. I hand over my life and my destiny to your care. And I ask that you be my Lord, my God, my King forever. From today, the hold of sin, the hold of the flesh over my life comes to an end this is a new beginning in the name of jesus keep your hands lifted as i pray for you father you see these hands lifted they have made genuine sincere commitments i pray that the spirit of god that is our seal of redemption will be a witness to this spiritual transaction and i pray in the name of jesus that from tonight let there be a new beginning in the name of jesus christ let there be a new beginning for every one of us no going back to the world no going back to the flesh by the power that raised christ from the dead in the name of jesus christ i pray amen and amen a big congratulations to all of you this is the best decision you would have made in your entire life hallelujah now i like you to follow okay this way we're going to follow um, the ushers as they lead you there'll be a group of people to have your names your details and we'll follow you up they'll be very brief so that you come back and join us um, please be very fast with them because we're about to get up to the ministrations right away god bless you thank you for this great decision let's honor them koinonia bless them bless them Let's honor them as they go. Please rise up on your feet. We are going to pray for a few minutes. Hallelujah. We are about to pray for a few minutes. And I want our hearts to be open. Let's participate in the prayer. Hallelujah. Listen. When we pray hear me when we pray we authorize heaven to step into our lives are we together this is a miracle service and i want us to pray jeremiah 33 verse 3 please media help us we're about to pray we're about to pray
Jeremiah 33 verse 3 it says call on to me and I will answer call on to me and I will answer it says and I will show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not call on to me you see prayer is a sign of humility because it's an indication that there is so much I do not know and there is so much I cannot do are we together prayer is a sign of humility when you call on God to step into your life it is because you acknowledge that he is able lift your voice in one minute and say Lord I know you are able lift your voice come on pray 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 we are praying please open your mouth and pray Lord, I believe you are able. That's why I'm here tonight. I believe you are able to heal that cancer, to heal that HIV. Lord, I believe that you are able to give me a new story. Harapako Soto Pratega de Beledebo. I acknowledge you, I recognize you as the mighty God. You are the mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are the mighty God. The great I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are the mighty God. The great I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He is the mighty God. You are the great I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are the mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Shout it. Say in the name of Jesus. Tonight, I declare that every force tying down my life, tying down my destiny, Tying down my progress. You come under arrest tonight. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Oh, come on, Koinoni, are you praying? Every force. Mandeka pras kabarata kareto supa shekete prete kele ba 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 rakata barato soto pregele belere bo embra kata la kate seketa ba sheke pras kabarata la badash oh you come under arrest tonight hallelujah hallelujah. He said, I set before you this day blessing and cursing, life and death. But he says, I advise you, choose life so that you and your family will live. I'd like you to say in the name of Jesus. I make a decision. Tonight, I make a choice. Tonight, that I must leave this place free. I like you to open your mouth and mention the challenges that brought you here and say I am determined I make a decision I make a decision I make a decision I make a decision 
make a decision. Are you praying? Shabara katalaba. Mambra katalakata. I make a decision. I make a decision. Please pray. Make sure you are praying. I make a decision. I must walk out of here healed tonight. I must walk out of here changed tonight. Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Shout it in the name of Jesus. Every covenant orchestrated by darkness to keep me limited in life, to keep my family limited in life, Tonight, I declare that this is my night of victory. Lift your voice and cry, cry, cry. Cry unto the God of your salvation. They must be broken. They must be broken. And contend. I contend by faith. Amen. I contend by faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says, And Abraham was old and well stricken in age, and God had blessed him in all things. I'd like you to pray and say, Every area that is not working, say it every area in my life that is not producing results. Tonight, you come under the influence of the anointing. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Your finances may not be working. Your spiritual life may be working. You are praying your to a new dimension of God. Shaba karada balada da 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 ba. We declare your majesty. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen to the instruction the Lord is giving me. Please listen. Let's walk together, guys. Please, let's walk together. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We are going to shout three times. Listen. Hallelujah. Because what I see in the realm of the spirit is like I'm standing on top of this building and I'm seeing like a pot boiling, but it's about to tilt. That's what I'm seeing. And the Lord is telling me that at the third shout, we are going to shout once shout to by the third shout listen the first thing that will happen 
by the time we take that third shout there will be such an explosion of the power of God a mighty deliverance anointing and that's how we're going to start off tonight are we together it's called the healer it's a mystery it's a mystery that crumbles walls when they went round the walls of Jericho they shouted the instrumentalist everybody together hallelujah just be stupid enough to obey this instruction and watch the God of wonders do mighty things in your life you are shouting pain away you are shouting sickness away you are shouting captivity away hallelujah my goodness I'm telling you the power of God is so strong in this place mighty 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 I'm going to count three when I count three listen I want you to shout from the depth of your heart hallelujah and then the second time we are going to shout listen as surely as the God of heaven lives by the third shout in the name of the Lord God whose I am and who has sent me the wonders that will happen in your life by this third shout is a mystery brothers and sisters how God operates are you ready one Two, three. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please, all those under the anointing, just bring them out. But really, it's from the third time. Are you ready for number two? We're shouting powers out of men's destinies we are shouting thrones dominions that have tied down the lives of men are you ready one two three hallelujah now be sensitive oh i feel it on me here it comes that grace that unction that grace that unction by the third shout hear me angels will begin to move in dramatic ways there will be an eruption of the power of god inside and outside are you ready i make a decree in the realm of the spirit and i pray according to the word of the lord as we make this shout i command thrones i command dominions i command altars and everything tying the destinies of men to give way in the name of the lord jesus are you ready now one two three Go ahead. Go ahead. Bring them out. Shake up a Mighty things happening to men already. I tell you, it's like volcano. That's what I see in the spirit. Falling on people. Falling on people. You baby. Prophetic, the mantle of the prophetic, 
21 people that's what I see 21 people right now oh God in the name of Jesus wherever they are at the count of three let that man to fall on them 21 one two three take it take it take it new wine take it prophetic mantle prophetic mantle Mantles, 21 people stepping into prophetic anointings by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I activate it. I activate it. I activate it. I stand on the the spirit the Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit so many people having their hands tied with chains that's what I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit chains this is a spirit of limitation lift your hands everyone I want to take authority over this spirit wherever you are inside and outside I like you to get ready if you are in this category something will happen to you let the sword of the spirit part those chains open. Are you ready? I command the chains be broken now. 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 There's a family God is liberating. A whole family. They are here. I'm seeing God touch them. Right now. Giving them miracles. Hallelujah. Lift your voice in one minute and say, Lord, speak to me. Speak to me. Send a word that will bring me hope. Send a word. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'm hearing the name Memuna. We have to rush. I'm hearing the name Memuna. Is there someone with that name here? Memuna. That's what I'm hearing. Shabakoto Paratoya. Memuna. Outside. Who is that? Memuna, you are outside. Who is that? Come. Look at me. Where are you coming from? Huh? I'm looking at you. Listen, look at me. 
you just came from somewhere here huh is there a, a mic i'm looking at you and i'm seeing you enter transport and you are coming from abuja to come here where did you come from from abuja that's where you are coming because i look in the realm of the spirit and i'm seeing you in a car and you came and i'm seeing you praying and asking god to visit you and visit your family is that why you are here your family you were saying if only you come here god will visit your family and god is saying he's bringing a breakthrough to Memuna and her family in the name of the lord jesus christ i break that curse over your family by the power of the holy ghost it lives forever lift your hands and give jesus praise lift your hands and give jesus praise lift your hands and give jesus praise look at me please call the lady again my dear where is your mother huh what's she doing huh she's a civil servant she's a civil servant we have to pray because the devil wants to put sickness she's complaining of pains in her body she went to the hospital huh she may not have told you she went to the hospital last week and they said she should be careful because she's having problems with her back yes. is that yes. true yes. that's what the doctor said that she's having problems with her back yes. this is witchcraft it's not just pain like that your mother cannot even watch for 10 minutes her yes. back will start paining yes. her yes. in the name of jesus christ we pray for mama right now wherever she is let there be a supernatural miracle for her in the name of the lord jesus christ in the name of the lord jesus christ madam can i talk to you please yes that madam that one with um yes please make sure you are praying god is touching people we just want to be fast i wish we had time no 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 you don't have to kneel down please stand up where are you coming from madam from jigawa jigawa state jigawa state yes i'm looking at you and in the realm of the spirit i'm seeing a woman who has gone through pain and she's crying and i'm wondering why are you going through all of this uh, some of them i may not be able to say it here but you were invited here I'm with my sister. that's what i'm saying where is she i'm seeing two people where is the sister come come and stand Hold on. I'm hearing the Lord speak to me and saying there are two other people. Yes. There are two other people again yes. that you came with aside from you. Yes. Where are they? Yes. Where are they? Two other people. Where are they? Please come and stand. I want to announce to you, all of you, that God will give you a testimony tonight that will surprise you. Please, I want you to believe. I want you to believe me. The things I see, I may not be able to tell you right now because um, one of you has a problem with your husband. I don't want to go into... Hold on. I, should I talk? Do you want me to talk? Calm down. Let me talk to you. You came out. Let me talk. Madam, please look at me. Your husband needs deliverance. You believe what I'm saying? You love God. You are a sincere woman. But your husband needs deliverance. Huh? Where is he? I'm looking at you and I'm seeing a woman crying. A man coming to vomit. Huh? Like I'm a vomit from drunkenness. And then this thing is telling on you. Huh? Are you a Christian? You love the Lord. I'm seeing you praying for this woman. Yes. Huh? Yes. That's yes, why I asked her, how do I know you are wearing something? I'm seeing you praying for her. Yes, In fact, sir. even when you stood there, you are saying that God should locate this woman yes, and sir. bless her. Yes, I'm hearing sir. your prayers. The Lord is ministering it to me and he's saying you should bless her. And the Lord God of heaven is saying he's going to bless her and bless you too. Hold on. Let me talk to you. Will you believe what I tell you? Why am I seeing you in a wedding gown? Are you married? Yes, sir. I'm seeing you in a wedding gown. Listen to me very yes. carefully. And I'm seeing two men standing. Hold on. I'm seeing one man and I'm seeing another man. Yes, and the man is saying he married before this one. Yes. He comes to you in a dream. Yes, 
Yes, sir. Is that true? Yes, sir. This man I'm talking about, yes, sir. tell me the truth. Now, don't be embarrassed. Yes, this has affected your marriage. Stand up. It's time to deliver you. Because I'm seeing you get married and I'm seeing two men. Your real husband and another one in the realm of the spirit. He comes to you in a dream. But the Lord is saying I should set you free. Elohim, you reign. You reign. You reign. showing me a lady you left the hospital this morning your mother is in the hospital it's part of the reasons why you came here please who is that your mother you left her in the hospital and you came here please when you get that person let me pray for her because God wants to do a miracle I want to pray for you the Bible says what God has joined let no man put asunder God did not join you and any spirit entity and he's going to deliver you in the name of Jesus be free let her go now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I speak to you by the power of the Holy Spirit madam please look at me your husband needs deliverance his own money finishes on friend and friends and beer is that true is that true because I'm seeing him not only drink but buying for his friends and they finish the entire money you are a very kind woman but the truth is he's not giving you even one naira you don't even get money from him but the lord is going to be changing things now let me tell you how it will change it will look as if it's getting worse but you watch and see what god is going to be doing you believe that yes i'm going to pray for you father in the name of jesus christ let there be a miracle a supernatural miracle a supernatural miracle a supernatural miracle there is a woman from Katsina. There is a woman from Katsina. A woman from Katsina. That's what I'm seeing. A woman, you are outside. You didn't cover your hair. You are from Katsina. Where is that person? Is there someone like that, please? Where is that person? Why are you clapping? Where is the person? Please come. From Katsina. Look at me. Stand up, stand up, madam. Stand up your time of breakthrough has come look at me the lord is saying i should quote a scripture for you when the lord again shall turn your captivity he says you'll be like them that day madam you have cried enough in this miracle service the god of heaven is about to wipe your tears mary mary who is mary 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 i know there are many marys hold on please hold on let me call the mary the Mary is in this row. Mary, you are seated here. No, 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 no. At the back, you are wearing a dark cloth. Right here, you didn't cover your head. The Mary is in... No, like, I don't know if it's a dark cloth. Like, it has flower. It's a gown. It's a gown, straight down. Gown, not gown with skirt. Is there someone like that? Mary, this row. The angel of the Lord is there. Is it a gown or someone? I'm seeing something with flower. Is there someone like that? Please find out. Mary, I need to talk to that person. I need to talk to that person. You're the one? Okay. Well, come, I'll talk to you. Madam, where are you from? I'm from Akwaibo. You are from Akwaibo? I stayed in Katsina. I know. Are you married? Yes. Where is your husband? He's in Katsina. I have to pray for you. God wants to give you breakthrough. My goodness, lift your hands. I'm telling you, I just saw like a wind and the Lord said they are angels. Watch what happens in the congregation right now. Angels, 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 angels bringing impartation to people. I just saw like a wind in the spirit. Angels, cutting away things. That's what I'm seeing. Angels, cutting away things from people. They are removing things in people's bodies that's what i see like a slimy substance leaving people this is breakthrough breakthrough god is giving people breakthrough hallelujah
Ma, let me pray for you. What do you do, Ma? Hallelujah. Hold on. I'm looking at this woman. Don't be afraid. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm looking at you. Where is Kasham? I'm looking at you, Ma. And I'm seeing her name on your head. And I was wondering, and the Lord, no, 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 no. Hold on. Come. Come. I'm looking at this woman and, and I'm seeing the name of this lady, Kasham, on her head. And I thought your name is Kasham, but the Lord told me it's not Kasham. The, what she's practicing is what you are now. What, what are you doing? I'm a nurse. What are you doing? I'm a nurse. You're a nurse. That's what I'm seeing in the spirit. That's what God is telling me. Because I'm looking at you and I saw her name written on your head. And the Lord said I should call her and make... See, this is not diabolic. Hosea chapter 12. It says, I have spoken to you by the prophet. I have multiplied visions. He said, I have spoken to you in similitudes. This is not jamboree. We have a lot of things to do. God is locating people and... When he's doing it for one, he's doing it for many people. Time will not allow for everybody to be called, but I just want you to believe. Believe in what God is doing. In the name of Jesus Christ. That's, that's, the, that's the only reason why you are here. Ma, I want to pray for you. Because I'm seeing the Lord promoting you and lifting you. You believe that? If God grants grace, you will return and testify. Hold my hands, ma. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the God of heaven promote you and lift you right now in the name of Jesus. Ma, I want to pray for you. Where are you from, please? I'm from Anambra, but I'm from Jigawa. I want to pray for you. What do you do? Nurse. I'm a nurse. You are a nurse too. Yes. I want to pray for you. The devil wants to put sickness in your body. And this is not a nice, this is not something I will even say. The devil wants to put it in your body, but will take authority over it right now. Please hold my hands, man. In the name of Jesus, Lord, he will fortify her. I, I command that spirit to leave you right now. Out! The devil wants to put sickness. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Ma, look at me. The pain is living and you are going free. You have cried. I have I'm seeing a woman who has cried, but God is stepping in. Hold my hands in the name of Jesus. Lord, the grace that makes things happen. May that grace bring this woman out of pain. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I want to pray for you. Come stand here. I want to pray. There's bad luck in your family. Huh? Serious bad luck. Where's your father? Quara State. Quara State. I'm seeing a man in Quara State just going around in circles, not even doing anything meaningful. We have to pray. It's one thing to move physically, but it's another thing for your life to move to. Huh? And I'm going to pray for you. You love Jesus. Please be very serious with the Lord. Hold my hands. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Emeka. Emeka. I'm hearing the name of someone. Emeka. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, let there be a miracle for you. Let there be a miracle for you. In the name of Jesus. Emeka, the Lord is ministering to me. I'm hearing the name of someone, Emeka. The Lord is giving you a testimony. In the name of Jesus Christ. Emeka, you are outside. I'm seeing two Emeka coming. I tell you, I see like a screen. One, you have beard. One, you are wearing white. Hello, King. You reign. You reign. You reign. Hello, King. You reign. Hallelujah. I'm seeing the spirit of death on you. Don't be, I'm not a prophet of doom, but I'm seeing the spirit of death on you. The devil wants to destroy your life. We have to pray for you. Sir, look at me. What do you do? You are a student. I'm going to pray for you. You love Jesus and the hand of God is upon your life. Huh? It's not just an ambition for business, but the anointing of God is in your life. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Sir, I need to pray for you. I need to pray for you and destroy something that wants to kill you. 
huh? so it's just a simple prayer I'll pray for you don't be afraid I'm not I'm, we're not prophesying doom you get what I'm saying in the name of Jesus Christ I command that thing to leave you in the name of Jesus Christ that devil of darkness it leaves you right now sir hold my hands I pray that the anointing of the spirit will come upon your life right now step into a new level of grace by the power of the Holy Ghost it's not by power it's not by might I bring an anointing to your life that takes you to a new dimension in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ there is a lady who is going to shout under the anointing just carry her like that and bring her to me there is a word no it's inside here it's not outside right here carry her like that and bring her it's a message just carry her like that and bring her this is what i see in the realm of the spirit as she's lying down like this that's what i'm seeing in the realm of the spirit and i'm hearing ezekiel 2 verse 2 it says and the spirit entered me and set me upon my feet the lord is bringing not just deliverance to you and your family but the lord is bringing i'm hearing the word restoration and the lord is saying i should prophesy to you receive it in the name of jesus it comes upon you by the power of the holy spirit please bring this lady for me just just carry her carefully if she can please lift your voice and pray and say lord visit me in the name of the lord jesus christ I break every hole you have with her life in the name of Jesus I'm looking at a lady in the realm of the spirit and I'm seeing a spirit wearing a crown and the Lord is saying he's removing that crown that's what I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit this is a lady who loves God but I see her connected to things that have to do with marine powers and I'm seeing the lady with a crown and the Lord is taking it in the name of Jesus Christ I command freedom right now by the power of the Holy Spirit I command freedom right now be free go let her go now by the blood of Jesus Christ hallelujah please lift your hands I want to pray before we pray for the sick there's something the Lord is showing me please I like you to lift your hands just do what I'm asking you to do lift your hands the power of God is going to come on certain people I'm seeing deliverance in families this is not just you you are standing for your loved ones i'm seeing mighty deliverances happening in families and the lord is saying one more time we should shout that name jesus in the name of the lord jesus as we shout jesus i like you to shout all your heart at the count of three the moment you do that i see deliverance coming to families and what they could not do in many years will be done within one month what they could not do in many years will be done within one month in the name of jesus one two three right now deliverance 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 Shakataba. families i command it inside and outside inside and outside Deliverance. What could not be done in 10 years? In 10 years, it will be done in one month. What could not be done in 10 years will be done in one month. What could not be done in 10 years will be done in one month. Hallelujah. Self time in the name of Jesus say it in the name of jesus every door stopping me from entering the next level right now i command that door broken lift your voice and begin to pray pray yourself to the next dimension doors are opening pray inside and outside Doors are opening. Doors are opening.
doors are opening doors are opening hallelujah 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 listen many of you may not understand what is happening in the realm of the spirit but you see the presence of God is where change happens in the life of men just like this you will walk out and you will see things happen in your life just like this there are chains that tie men there are chains that hold down destinies there are chains please bring this lady for me yes this lady just this very lady just bring her I give the chains for hey, I give the chains 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 there is power in the name of Jesus deliverance is coming for you there is power in the name of Jesus there is power Hallelujah. Uh, Jimmy, the Lord is giving me a word. I saw an eagle flying, and the eagle came and entered you. And the Lord is saying, I should tell you, He's restoring to you the spirit of prophecy. That's what the Lord is saying, I should tell you. He's restoring to you. I saw an eagle fly, and it entered you. And the Lord is saying he's restoring the spirit of prophecy. 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 Hallelujah. I'm looking in the spirit and I'm seeing people carry load. And God is saying I should bring down that load. Lift your hands. Lord, where are they carrying loads that do not belong to them? right now at the count of three let that load come off you right now one two three right now right now right now anyone carrying any load every load every load every load every load every load every load that is not of god Every load that is not of God. Every load that is not of God must leave you. Must leave you. Must leave you. Must leave you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Before we are going to be very fast. Hallelujah. I was walking and the Lord said I should go back. Praise the Lord please don't mind me just allow me to do what the Lord is saying and the Lord is saying I should walk right here outside right and go outside please hear me and the Lord is saying as I walk for every road that I pass if there is a spirit holding your destiny it must leave you please believe me I lift my hands right now right now as I'm passing the anointing of the spirit is touching people destroying yokes destroying yokes destroying yokes right now destroying yokes from my left and my right destroying yokes any spirit tying down any man's destiny right now 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 
right now every spirit every spirit every spirit every spirit now listen to me those outside don't be afraid it will not rain but watch this lift your hands i'm going to walk this way and the power of the holy ghost you are enduring this rain as i walk through any spirit tie your life must give way right now are you ready right now right now right now right now right now i release everybody from bondage 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 right now i stretch my hands i stretch my hands i stretch my hands right now i stretch my hands i stand by an anointing as i pass your role any devil tying you will let you go right now as i pass your role as i pass as I pass your role, as I pass your role, as I pass your role, now, right? Free spirit, every spirit responsible for your limitation you are enduring the rain you cannot go back the same i came out to join you hallelujah please make sure you pray i'm moving around we are going to pray for you. Please lift your hands. Make sure you are praying. There's no spirit that will stand. Hallelujah. As many who can come in, don't worry. Just push them in. I know it will be a bit stuffy, but push as many people everywhere and let's pray we have to hurry up just push them as many there are some who may not be able to do much but then we are praying we are praying say after me in the name of Jesus say it again in the name of Jesus every power holding me say it again in the name of Jesus every power holding my breakthrough tonight your time is up go 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 lift your voice and pray pray every power every force hallelujah now hold on i know that there are so many people coming in just give them room to come in just make every adjustment not all may be able to come in but it's a sacrifice it's a sacrifice it's a sacrifice we want to pray for the sick now now please be careful so we don't have people marching on people hallelujah we are going to do two things at the same time all those who came trusting God for healing now is your time please walk with the protocol walk with the ushers I'm going to ask you to come out and stand here don't match the people in front while they are doing that ushers begin to pass your prayer request begin to pass your prayer request there are miracles in the name of Jesus there are breakthroughs in the name of Jesus there is healing in the name of Jesus to break every chain break every chain 
break every chain. Power to break every chain. Break every chain. I sense a strong healing anointing. A strong healing anointing entering this building. Break every chain. 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 Hallelujah. Now we're going to minister to the sick. Please hear me. No matter what the situation is, as you stand right here, I want you to believe God for healing. You've heard the testimonies of people. You've seen the things that God is doing in this place. Don't make the place rowdy. Just be orderly as we pray for you. Just a touch and you return back. We may not have the time to take testimonies. Hallelujah. Please, uh, Jimmy, you will join me. Where's Pastor Jakes? I'm glad to have them around. And they'll make this work easy. The anointed people. As we pray for you, I want you to believe God for healing. The moment you are prayed for, as you walk back to your seat, do what you couldn't do before. Don't just sit down and hope you are healed. The Bible says they came to hear and to be healed. They came to hear and to be healed. Everyone lift your hands in one minute and pray and say every sickness in my body is time for you to go. Every incurable disease. Go ahead and pray. Every incurable disease. You are living. Hallelujah. Worship team, you help us while we minister Pastor Jakes. Touch me please. We are going to pray for you in the name of the Lord Jesus. I want you to believe in the God that heals. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Make sure you are praying in tongues. Don't just be whiling away time. Drop your prayer request and be praying. Pray in the Spirit. And say, Lord, you are going to visit me. To break every chain, to break every chain, break every chain. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, this I consider these sessions to be the most powerful. I know that you have to be a man of the spirit to understand all these things, the word of knowledge, ministering to the sick is very important but sincerely there is only so much are we together there's only so much there are thousands of people here and there is only so much you can see this represents the prayer request of so many people and there are so many others um, online and this is when we get to give God chance to reveal himself as a God of wonders hallelujah our time is spent but I want you to make sure that you participate we're going to pray on this right now and then afterwards um, I'm going to prophesy over our lives then we'll take a few announcements and we'll be done I want you to maximize the night so that you don't go back and return the same hallelujah before I pray I, I want if you can rise please rise those on, under the anointing that's all right and then mothers with children that's all right but the rest of us please let's rise and take this very seriously we're going to be praying right now when pastor jakes and Ejimi are done they can come and join us we'll pray pastor godwin where are you please can you come and join us um we're going to pray i'd like you to stretch your hands here and in one minute pray like your life depends on it and say the same way I have dropped this that's how I've dropped every challenge in my life I like you to pray please pray koinonia open your mouth inside outside online please join us we are going to lay our hands prophetically on this request as we lay our hands on them we are releasing the power of God to every home 
to every territory in the name of the Lord Jesus. Make sure you pray from the depth of your heart. Father, we agree with you. We agree with you. All kinds of miracles. Impossible situations. Make sure you are praying. There is a God that answers prayers. Let fire fall on this request to God. Shakata prakata Pray, prophesy. We are speaking over this request. Wipe the tears of people, oh God. Visit individuals. Visit families. Strange miracles. Strange miracles. shall not arise again the second time. Allah do taka boba baba shota inga dua ika tula katia mama makada dusa ika deta baba inka it is done it is done says the spirit of God it is done oh glory be to God go ahead and rejoice and give God praise hallelujah hallelujah Hallelujah. Please lift your hands and receive the prophecy. This is where God is going to be changing lives. Hallelujah. Your destiny can change overnight because one word was received. Prophecy does not only reveal, it creates. This is where everybody gets to participate in the service take it here guys inside outside this is where I want you to believe you will rise in his name I don't know you reign you will rise in your name, I don't know. You reign, you will rise in His name. I don't know. Hallelujah. Three weeks ago. I had a very serious encounter with God and the Lord told me something he said I have put my word in your mouth as you speak it I will make it happen that's what the Lord told me please I want you to believe it oh blessed is she that believes don't sit down and doubt and waste your time there is a spiritual dimension to life it's not just I have taught you principles Believe me when I tell you there is a spiritual dimension. Gates and door 
wars over the lives and the destinies of men I pray every gate that must be opened right now I speak to you Efata be open now 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 that chain tying any man's destiny tying the speed of your progress you are moving but you're not making impact. Right now, I release upon you an auction for speed. An auction. Take it. An auction for speed. An auction for speed. The Bible says, and the hand of the Lord, please help them. The hand of the Lord came upon Elijah. He guarded his loins and ran on barefoot. He overtook the chariots of Ahab down to Israel. I don't know what you have done from January to now, but I prophesy from now till the end of June, do what you have not done in five years. Shake it, do what you have not done in five years. Do what you have not done in five years. Hallelujah. Jacob dug a well and they covered it. They dug another one. They covered it. They dug the third one and they left it and they called it Rehoboth. They said, God has given us our space. Where you have been begging for relevance, it's like there is no place for you in life. It's like there is no place. I stand under this apostolic and prophetic mantle. Take your place in life. Take your place in destiny. Take your place in ministry. Take your place in destiny. Take your place in ministry. Ay, 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 ay. Whatever has covered your glory, whatever has covered your glory, I stand tonight. I invoke the powers of the heavens. And I command, let your glory be released now. Be released now. Be released now. Anyone here called jobless? Between now and the next two months, I don't care what is the reason, but I pray, as surely as the God of heaven lives, we give you a job here now. We give you a job here now. We give you a job here now. It says to appoint unto them that morning Zion. Listen, there are some of us, you are making progress, but no help in your life. You fight for everything by yourself. You pay for everything by yourself. When you are in trouble, there's nobody to speak for you at the gates. Where are your helpers? Who stopped them from entering your life? Who said it must be this hard? I go down on my knees. I call your helpers by prophecy in the name of Jesus. From the north to the south to the east to the west. From the north to the south to the east to the west. From the north to the south, to the east, to the west, receive of their ministry. Listen, let me tell you, there is nothing more tragic as having no helper. No man can stand alone. You need voices to speak to you at the gates of destiny. You need men to endorse you and say, help him. You can't have to explain yourself to everybody. Who is speaking for you? 
I pray again whoever must appear in your life from now till June business helpers financial helpers marital helpers career helpers I call you forth I call you forth hallelujah listen lift your hands there are some of you your dreams and visions used to be opportunities for intense revelation where God will show you secrets it made your life easy till something shot you from visions and dreams I pray every dead dream life every dead manifestation of visions like a mantle receive restoration now restoration of dreams prophetic dreams visions prophetic vision hallelujah please stretch your hands towards me please stretch your hands towards me the hands of a man represents your responsibility represents your wisdom represents your agency for bread i pray for you whatever has mocked the creativity of your hands so that your potentials are underutilized isaiah 48 verse 17 i am the lord that teaches thy hands to profit i pray the grace that makes your hand productive take it now take it now take it now take it now the grace that makes your hand multiply take it now everything called barren in your destiny physical barrenness spiritual barrenness academic barrenness career barrenness right now I cause the spirit of barrenness from his root and I command be fruitful be fruitful be fruitful hallelujah lift your hands in the next one minute I want us to pray because everyone will receive something listen listen what we're all receiving is an upgrade of grace listen he said grace be multiplied grace and peace be multiplied the grace upon a man's life can multiply should multiply must multiply there are three things that happen to you when God lifts you one he multiplies your grace two he adds to your responsibility three he increases your territory of influence both spiritually and physically I pray for you lift your hands some of us you have not backslidden but you have not risen beyond certain levels you have stayed there at a level everything that is alive grows please I want you to receive I told you this meeting will have impartations the impartation is not falling on the ground and rolling impartation is receiving something tangible in your spirit hallelujah Paul said I long to see you that I may impart unto you some spiritual gift he said to the end that he be established I pray for you lift your hands every grace that is dormant in your life every grace that is useful but it has stayed at a level and is made no matter how you try to rise it stands there in the name of Jesus by the privilege of the apostolic office I pray for you may that grace be upgraded now shake it receive it receive it take it an upgrade of favor an upgrade of wisdom an upgrade of power
fire power fire fire prayer fire what fire prayer fire what fire an upgrade of supernatural wisdom an upgrade of access access to men of influence I pray for you listen what your current level of grace could not bring you into I empower you to go back and conquer that realm oh let me repeat what I'm saying there are levels in life and there are graces that are like keys you can get to a level and be stuck there no matter what kind of deliverance you can stay there because graces are like flights they can take you beyond certain levels some of us just need a little upgrade to overcome the obstacles you have tried prayer has brought you so far I pray for you whatever dimension must be added so that you can fly like the eagle that you are receive that dimension now receive that dimension now receive that dimension now hallelujah the bible says and you shall be called with a new name which the mouth of the lord shall speak it says you shall be called hefziba and pula a well desired land i pray for you everything that makes people run away from you they plan to help you but when they come they change their mind they plan to bless you but when they see you they consider what they are about to sow there is a spirit that cut shots breakthroughs I pray for you in the name of Jesus I pray the blessing that was prophesied he said to Jacob the smell of my son is like the field that the Lord has blessed that aura that attracts favor receive it right now receive it right now whoever has said over his dead body for you to rise may that prayer be answered let me say it again whoever vowed and said it is through his dead body you will rise I said may that prayer be answered listen the Bible says in five things the Lord will deliver you he said yes six he will deliver you from the scourging tongues of men it was a revelation that was given Job that men stay and use their tongues to trap the destinies of men I pray for you whoever has used his tongue like a net to trap your life I release you right now I release you right now I release you right now hallelujah the kind of finances your hands has not touched I pray for you between now and the end of this month may God do something that must bring tears from your eyes may God do something that must bring tears from your eyes may God do something that must bring tears from your eyes anyone here marked for death that death is eyeing you waiting for the day you will get on the road waiting for the day a bike will come close to you to kill you and take your life I pray for you in the name of Jesus we forbid the earth from receiving your body we forbid the earth from receiving your body Hosea chapter 6 come and let us return unto the Lord for he hath torn and he will heal us he hath smitten and he will bind us up verse 2 after two days he will revive us in the third day he will raise us up and we shall live in his sight verse 3 I want us to read it together one to read And he shall come to us as how? Hold on. He said, and he shall come to us. Meaning this is how he has chosen to reveal himself. 
to make himself manifest in the midst of his people. Not a rain. It says, and he shall come to us as the rain. A combination of the former rain and the latter rain. Now, I don't want to go into the whole theology of the arguments about former rain, um, latter rain, and all of that. That's not our point of interest tonight. But it's just for us to know that God wants to come and manifest himself this year, 2015, as the rain. The rain. The rain. What then is this rain? Very quickly. What is the rain, really? I wrote a few things here and I'll just read them out so that we can have some notes. The rain is a dimension of the outpouring of the Spirit. The rain is a dimension of the outpouring of the Holy Spirit upon people and territories that is responsible for activating certain spiritual realities. The rain is a dimension of the outpouring of the Holy Spirit upon people and upon territories responsible for activating certain spiritual realities. There are different spiritual realities because every dimension of the Holy Spirit helps you to access certain dimensions. Hallelujah. When the Holy Spirit is revealed as fire, there is a dimension of him that we can access on the strength of that revelation. When he's revealed as rain or water or dew or whatever it is in that similitude. When the Holy Spirit is revealed as oil, when he's revealed as a dove, when he's revealed as all of these things, they all attempt to communicate certain dimensions of his operation and dimensions that can be accessible. Hallelujah. There are seven seven dimensions or expectations I want us to have as the Holy Spirit reveals himself as the rain. Seven things happen in the life of any man and any territory when the Holy Spirit is permitted to reveal himself as the rain. We'll just run through it very quickly. Number one, when the Holy Spirit reveals himself to a people as the rain, there is an unusual dimension of soul winning. Unusual dimension of soul winning. Because harvest is tied to rain. Harvest is tied to rain. Hmm. Harvest is always tied to rain. He said in Isaiah chapter 32 from verse 15, he says, until the spirit be poured upon us. So he uses the language of the rain. Until the spirit be poured upon us from on high. And then the wilderness will be counted for a fruitful vine. And then that vine will multiply and become a forest. So one of the things that happens to a people or a territory. When the Holy Ghost begins to manifest as the rain. Is that there are unusual dimensions of soul winning and transformation transformation we had our brother who came here and shared how that he had never seen me i don't know how, how probably without exaggeration thousands of people who say i have never seen you most people outside of this circle have seen me in either dreams or visions you see that the rain unusual dimension of soul winning and so that's one of the things we expect to see this year that there will be unusual dimensions. That rain will pour on people. You see, when the rain begins to pour, it does not select who to fall upon. Is that true? When it falls, it falls upon everyone and you must carry a trace of it. It will wet anybody, it will wet any car. That's the dimension of the spirit. So he will fall on unusual people. He will fall on business people. He will fall on students. He will fall on workers, unbelievers. Had, you will see hardened criminals come to Christ. People who vowed by themselves, God forbid, over my dead body to be born again. You will see them come mysteriously. And then you will know that the rain fell on them. Hallelujah. 
people who hitherto have refused to accept Jesus Christ. You will argue with them. They will say, look, if, if Jesus is real, why are pastors this? You know, all those, all those arguments they bring. You will see them walk in dimensions. I tell you, you three o'clock, you will see them come to stand at Koinonia. Shaking, they cannot explain what brought them. The moment you see that, know that it is the rain. Because every time a rain will fall, you will see clouds. There is a sign. There is a rain. And that rain will fall. It will bring, I'm not talking of salvation of one leg here today and two legs out to say I had it. No, 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 no. Genuine that all your legs will be stationed and established in the kingdom. That's why I said so winning and transformation. You know, I've questioned a lot of what people call born again. Right? If you truly meet with this rain, there must be transformation. Hallelujah. All of those kinds of what I used to do before, I'm still doing it again after 10 years. I'm, you did not meet with the Holy Spirit. If you truly meet with the Spirit of the living God, the Spirit of the living... A donkey met with him and started talking. No rehearsals. Look, let me tell you, if the Holy Ghost meets with you, something must change. It has nothing to do with whether you have faith or not. There is an imprint. When rain comes, it does not ask you what kind of material. You live and there is an evidence. Have you seen rain come and then there is a nice lady who is wearing, um, what they call it, those you people's dangerous shoes that, that is pointed, you know, and she's trying to just run. The rain is whipping her. No regard for whatever she, whether it's with one or your natural hair or whatever hair, whether rain just comes lord send that avalanche we are tired of discussing with certain family members that will not change in this season of the rain mm. the moment he's kicking the car the car will not kick again and the only he can't open the door and he will hear a voice and he will say how long will you keep running away from me personal salvation genuine personal salvation I want you to believe look let me tell you there are seven things this is number one but this is major every one of us must participate cooperating with this rain because when, when rain falls there are certain people who can how many of you have seen rain fall and then some people bend their zinc strategically to make sure that water enters some vessels that's how some of us will be. You will say, this rain is almost reaching my uncle. Oh Lord, where is that zinc? You must tilt it to touch him. Oh no, look, let me tell you. There will be massive salvation this year. It's called anakazo. A compelling evangelism. Not, not too much of drama and they are asking you, did you quote it correctly? Do you know that? That means you are not a serious believer. And then what would have been a, a simple encounter becomes three hours of foolish argument. The Bible calls it vain talk. Right? You keep arguing whether is this and that. Should this person do this? Does your church do this? When the rain comes. When the rain comes. Some of you, all you will need to tell somebody is come. Jesus looked at them and said, come. No argument. That's how they got up. Because that rain comes with it a dimension of the spirit. Do you believe that? Number two. When the rain comes, we will experience increased dimension of love for God and passion for spiritual things. Listen to me. Every time rainy season comes, it supplies energy upon the farmer to go to the farm. Is that true? When he sees the rain, he's excited. When the rain falls, every one of us, every one of us must fall in love with God. It comes, it's a dimension of the Holy Spirit that all of a sudden makes Jesus become a priority in your life. So, it's not just the issue of being fanatical. He emphasizes the priority of the things of the kingdom. The house of God. Evangelism. Prayer. Your, your passion for spiritual things come alive. J 
Jesus must become a priority in our lives this year. Not an option. Many of us love the Lord, but there are many distractions. Jesus is not a priority to many of us. But this year, this season of the rain, hallelujah listen listen let me tell you one of the things that the rain does the rain washes away filth there are many things that have covered our eyes and our lives that would stop some of us love god but there is a devil seated on our face call our mouth that will not allow us serve god well are you getting what i'm saying your spirit wants to serve God, but your mouth, this mouth is, is, is an empire, is Babylon seated on your face. And if you don't tame it, let the rain wash away that thing, that filth. There are many of us, our lives, this is the year when you say, Lord, let this rain come. Passion. During my retreat, I said, Lord, I really want to love you. I don't want to fake it. I know that I love you. You know, people send me a text and say, may God give me one tenth of your love for God. I said, really? You've not seen anything yet. Madly in love. For some of you, may God give you the kind of love you have for women. May God convert it to be love for him. In the name of Jesus Christ. Two thousand and fifteen, may it happen. No, we're here to enforce it tonight, because see, the way many of us love things that are not God, money, reputation, women, men, intellect. Now, I'm not against all of those things, but I am telling you. Remember. Part of the things we do here is to make sure we strangle every idol to death. There is only one that deserves our praise. We will lay down our idols and thrones we have made and all that has taken my heart. Lord, I will bow. I will bow. To you, to no other God but you. Listen, can I tell you one strategy of the devil? One strategy of the devil to, to filter or draw away our love and passion for God is activities. Say activities. That was the strategy Pharaoh used. When Moses was coming to connect them back to God, Pharaoh said, ah, it's because you are free. I've not occupied you enough. That's why you even have time to consider an exodus. He said, occupy them. What I was giving them free, let them look for it. And that's one thing that the devil is using to destroy our generation. Ask an average young man, why are you busy like this? Four o'clock, you are awake. Sorry, I don't have time. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Lord, I thank you. You are, I mean, if you were not alive, I wouldn't have woken up. Now that I'm awake, I really thank you. And you're on your way moving. We are on the go. We have fast food. If you are hungry, enter quickly. Five minutes, you are out. This kind of life will never produce passionate people. There must come a time in your life where you must define who is worth your time. Ah, you've won my heart, oh God. You've won my heart. Don't let Nigeria fool you. You are not the first to be successful. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Ask Abraham. Ask Isaac. Ask Solomon. These were men who pursued God. But with that pursuit, they were successful. Take away that useless theology that the devil has given Nigerians. That if you don't get up and hustle and push... If one door closes, force another one to open. What do we call it? Hustling. In this year of the rain, may God help you to know what matters. You have only 24 hours. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I hunger and thirst for you in a dry and weary land. All I want 
there are many of us, we don't care about the house of God. The, the house of God, come for koinonia, eh, oh yeah, let me just drag myself and come, you know. And you come and you are waiting for everybody to tell you thank you. This is the year you tell that devil, if you, if you took advantage of my life in 2014, in this year, I mean business with God. Hallelujah. This is the year to throw away that small jotter that fire has burned half of it and buy a good hardcover exercise book and say, Lord, I mean business. Look, let me tell you, brothers and sisters. It says, after two days, he will revive us. And on the third day, he will raise us up. This was my cry during the retreat. I said, Lord, I don't love you enough. I searched my life to find out all the things that are still in the remaining time. I said, Lord, I will give you time more. Because intimacy is a function of time. It's not just about quoting koinonia. Intimacy is highly time dependent. For the more I know you, the more I want to know you, Jesus, more of you. Spend time. In this season of the rain, many of you, let me tell you, you will find out 4 o'clock, 4.30, the Holy Ghost will wake you. Mm, sleep goes away. No matter the tiredness, you know that is the season of the rain. And you get up and play worship songs. I want more of you. Some of you, this season of the rain will take you back to what you used to do that brought grace upon your life that you have thrown away. There are some of us here, especially the ladies, you know what you used to do. When it was not the issue of men, huh? when it was not the issue of beauty, before you rediscovered yourself, that depth of passion. Some of us don't wake up in the morning again. You sleep by 8 o'clock, you wake up by 9 o'clock. Spiritual carelessness. You don't care, you don't pray for two weeks, it's none of your business. You check the way you drop your note on your Bible last Koinonia Friday. That's how you pick it next Koinonia. You just say, Lord, I thank you. Speak to me. Look, it must change in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let there be passion. Passion. Some of us were lied to our roommates. Right now, they are the ones advising you. Huh? Look at how spiritual drought came and stole your fervence. But no more. I said no more. In this season of the rain. Ah, cold. It's too cold. I can't serve God. Or the trouser I wanted to wear is not there. I wore blue last week. Blue this week. I can't go for koinonia. You are not serious. When this rain pours on you, you will pick up that trouser and wear. And say, whether... Whether it's blue or black. I want more of you. Priorities that will change. Your priorities must change. You went to make your hair. They made half. They've not made the other half. Carry cap and cover it. Come for God. See, ask people and know the silly reasons why they refuse to come to the house of God. Very silly reasons. Someone say, I don't have transport. But let the guy say, oh yeah, come, let's talk. You, you, there is energy. Or, well, or the lady says, okay, I'm waiting for you at 90s. See the guy say, I'm coming. When he was talking, it was around dark. But you will be walking. Lord, I receive strength. I cover ground. And you cannot come to the house of God. In this year, 2015, may God give us passion. Oh, let, let this rain come. And let people see the difference between them and God in your life. Yeah. Are you getting my point? Let the guy know you love him, but when he comes to God, he is truly secondary, without apology. What if you put anything and God? Don't even ask me which one. Anything that is not God has lost, including myself. If I'm secondary to God, what makes you think you will be primary?
more of you. More of you. More of you. Jesus, more. Sing more of you. It's called an awakening. The Bible says, Awake thou that sleepest, and Christ will give you light. Please, you need to talk to your neighbor. Say, wake up this year. Reignite your passion for God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Sit down, five minutes prayer. Oh Lord, I thank you. No, 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 no. You have to give God time. You have to give God time. Say, I will give God time. He will become a priority in my life. Yes. Nothing else matters. Look, let me tell you something. I was talking with my auntie. She lost her, her son, eldest son. The one who would, you know, be the next of kin. And when I went to her, um, when she heard I was in ministry, in her mind she said, ah, this young man. According to her, said this young man, so intelligent. You mean that's what you really want to do with your life? You know, people make it look like, ah, you mean this is it? Now, but when her son died, when I went to her, she said, if I knew, I would have served God like you in the days of my youth. Brothers and sisters, let me tell you something. Whether you believe in immortality or not, we are not going to be here forever. Just settle that in your mind. Is that true? Jesus said, I must walk the works of him. Five minutes without breathing, nobody will ask you all the PhDs you got. Are you aware of that? Nobody will ask you what your CGPA was. Please, let me remind you. Nobody will ask you whether you, you got married or not. As important as these things are, if you have not sat down to think about them, I want you to know that there is only one thing that will matter at the end of your life. We used to sing a song uh, when I was in secondary school. One Anglican song, only remembered for what we have done. You know the song? Very powerful song. So, by and large, hear me. If you keep distracting yourself and not giving God time. Everything that you are giving time for now, will it secure your eternity? That's the question. You are giving your whole life to a man yet you cannot give God. A man you cannot trust. A man who can come and say, I've changed my mind. Kai, I've changed my mind. A, a, a lady who can come and say, you know, the only constant thing in life is change. Yet you say, I give you my all. You even say it happily. Please don't laugh. I came with the fire from my retreat. Make sure you are not just laughing carelessly. I'm communicating something very serious. Passion. That you must not come for koinonia for people to see the passion. People will look at Morgan and say, what is this? This fire you have. Why is it just God all the way? God in lecture theater. God everywhere. Are you this fanatical? Absolutely. Absolutely. He said, if you are ashamed of me before men. Listen, if you are ashamed of me. I've seen people die. Brothers and sisters, I've had the privilege to, to, to go and minister to bereaved families. I've prayed for people in hospitals. I have seen in my little life the vanity of life. That's not to make you not to get up, but I know that I plan to spend my life on what matters. That at the end of my life, when I stand before him, let me carry mantles of souls and say Lord I spent my life I spent my life to the last serving you one general that we honor forever Dr. Miles Munro a man who cheated death left and right front and back there are men who have cheated death this year please let there be an awakening we are going to pray 
we are going to pray. For some of us, it is to return to your first love. Ha! Ah. Don't let my love grow cold. I'm crying out. Light the fire again. I need your discipline. I'm crying out. Light the fire again. Lord, don't let my life. Let me not be busy doing ministry and forget my relationship with God. Let me not be busy doing ministry, ministering, traveling around, and everybody is shouting Apostle Joshua Selman, whereas my personal intimacy with God is faulty. See, let me tell you, men can clap for you, but this is the year you say, Lord, I want to be genuine. I'm tired of pretense. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I'm tired of people looking at me like a Christian, thinking that I love God walking based on yesterday's anointing yesterday's oil walking based on the applause of yesterday whereas my today is 40. number three when the rain falls it brings unusual access into the mysteries and the operations of the kingdom this is one of the things that we are going to be experiencing in this year of the rain. Unusual access into the mysteries and the operations of the kingdom. Deuteronomy chapter 32. Please media, you help us. We have to really be fast. Deuteronomy 32 verse 1 and 2. Let me show you a scripture. Deuteronomy 32. Mambroski, brother, Shilaba. Okay, let's just watch. Okay. It says, Give ear, O ye heavens, and I will speak, and hear, O earth, the words of my mouth. Verse 2. Read together. How? My doctrine, my mysteries, I will give you certain revelations, and it will come in the similitude of the rain. It will, it will be an avalanche. It will come in abundance. Hallelujah. My secrets, my mysteries will come upon you as the rain. No matter how the drizzle is, if you channel it well, it can fill buckets. It says, my doctrine shall drop. It says, my speech shall distill as the dew. Hi abundance some of you will open genesis and you'll be reading genesis for months because you will see things there that you never saw and god said that will be the revelation you'll be exploring for two weeks and god said a sound planet that it moves with words and god said my doctrine my mysteries will fall upon koinonia like rain so that you will begin to see the puzzles joined together. That these are the keys. These are the operations of the spirit that activate certain dimension of kingdom realities. Brothers and sisters, hear me. The Bible says it has been given unto us to know. The word know is the word intercourse. The same word like a man knowing his wife. It has been given unto us to intercourse. That's the word epignosis. A state where you know a thing by becoming that thing. Not just by hearing about it. It's an operation that only exists in the spirit. So in the spirit, if I want to know how this speaker is, I will have a feeling of becoming it. Accurate knowledge. My doctrine shall come upon you like the dew. So that many things we have believed that are confusing us and stopping us from experiencing the reality of God. When there is an avalanche of access to the mysteries of God. Some of you will begin to find out what is responsible for the tragedies and the operation of darkness in our families. And you will know what to do. He said Jesus himself knew what to do. This year may you know what to do. 
Because in the kingdom we arise and we shine when light comes. We reign upon the strength of light. Not when your light is available, when it comes. When it comes. He said, they that have sat in darkness have seen a great light. A great light. A great light. A great light. Daniel chapter 2 verse 19. There is a God that can show men mysteries. There is a God. We are going to contend for mysteries. We'll look at verse 19, 22 and 47. Long story. A king had a dream and forgot it and said, if you don't tell me what this dream is and the interpretation, I will kill you. Very simple. Hallelujah. The king had a dream and he forgot it. And he gathered all the soothsayers and wise men and said, I don't know what you would do. Go and invoke whatever you can invoke. But if you don't tell me this dream, I guarantee you, you will die. And the Bible says, Daniel asked for time. He said, give me time. Everybody say time. Hmm. We don't want revelation. God is not Mr. Biggs or Chicken Republic. He said, Lord, as I'm going, just let it come. I, I didn't have time to prepare. Now that I'm going for the meeting, let it just drop as I'm coming. Don't take the mercy of God for granted. It takes time. Daniel told the king, he said, I can tell you, but I need time. Because it's in the place of intimacy that you experience that rain. And he said, then was what? The secret revealed unto Daniel in a night vision. And Daniel blessed the God of heaven. In the night, while men were snoring and sleeping, the rain came. And when it came, he said, Daniel, this is it. Sit down, you're about to watch a movie. And he saw Nebuchadnezzar sleeping. And he saw what happened. Verse 22. This was Daniel acknowledging God. He said he revealed what? The deep and secret things. He knoweth what is in the darkness. And, the, and light dwelleth with him. Brothers and sisters. May God show us the things that are hidden in darkness. That have been responsible for the stagnation of our lives and our families. As this rain falls, let, let it expose things. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Well, let's just leave verse 47. 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 10. The Bible makes us to understand that the Holy Spirit is able to access the mind of God. Have you read that scripture? That the Holy Spirit can reveal to us the things that are in the mind of God. Right? Scripture makes us understand that no man knows the heart of a man save the spirit of that man. And the spirit of God has access to the mind of God. And is able to reveal it to us. He said, but God had revealed them to us. How? By his spirit. That will manifest himself as the rain. He said, for the spirit searched all things. Yea. May God grant unto us uncommon revelation in this year of the rain. Number what now? Number four. When the rain falls, one of the things that we experience is multiplied dimensions of spiritual power and the anointing. Multiplied dimensions of spiritual power. When you plant a seed and bury it, the moment the rain falls, that seed begins to push above the earth against gravity and it comes out. Spiritual power. A Christianity that does not demonstrate the power of the Holy Spirit is child's play. There is only one language that is understood in the realm of the spirit and is a language of power. When Moses stood before Pharaoh, I was watching the, a, a, a lovely cartoon yesterday. I don't watch most of, uh, I don't have time self to even watch cartoons. But one caught my attention. Pharaoh, Moses in Egypt. And I mean, it was, it was, it was well animated. I was so touched. Better than many of the things we have watched before. I mean, very, very, very nice and very graphic. When Moses got there, there was no room for long stories. The rods were speaking. This is the year, by the grace of God, where there will be a demonstration of the power of the Spirit. 
This is a place of power. There must be miracles upon miracles. Breakthrough upon breakthrough. We must, it must be evident that the rain is falling. If you believe that, say amen in the name of Jesus Christ. Resulting to an outbreak of miracles, signs, wonders, breakthroughs, healings. It's impossible to have the Holy Spirit reveal himself as the rain and will not have healings and miracles. And it will start this night. This night, not next week, this very night. Hallelujah. Some of you, you, you carry the atmosphere of this rain and step into places and you see the sick get healed. Look, we need to restore the church to the signs that characterize that God is at work and at alive in people. We trivialize the place of the power of the Holy Spirit. That's why we have a lot of arguments in the body of Christ. We need the power of the Holy Spirit. And by the grace of God, this place will become a habitation of not just his presence, but his power. Let the sick come and be healed. Let the oppressed come and be delivered. Not, not long stories. There are many things in our lives that do, doesn't require counseling. We need a head-on collision with the power of God. And it solves the problem once and for all. Some diseases will die a natural death when they meet the power of God. He said the yoke shall be destroyed, not by oratory. He said because of the anointing. When the rain falls upon us, there will be levels of grace. When God was showing me little visions of things that will happen in the year, and I saw some of the things, I said, my goodness, oh Lord, do these things. Let nothing restrict you. Look, brothers and sisters, you will see a demonstration of the power of the Spirit this year that will shock you. Not just from here, not just from my life, from your own life. From your own life. Your hands will do mighty things. Look at your hands and say, this year, you will do mighty things. Please, I want you to believe it. Look at your hands and say, this year, you carry an unusual unction and you will do mighty things. So we'll see multiplied dimensions of grace, multiplied dimensions of miracles, signs, wonders, manifestations of the power of the Holy Spirit. Next point. When the wind, when the, the rain of the Spirit falls upon us. Now take note of what I'm about to share. It will bring unusual dimensions of wealth, prosperity, and abundance. For sure. Rain. Now, agriculturally speaking, rain is tied to abundance and fruitfulness. Is that true? And one of the things that the Lord spoke to me again and again, very notably, that will happen in the lives of people is an avalanche of prosperity. I know that many of us have had these things again and again, but please, I want you to believe. Hallelujah. Prosperity. I believe in prosperity. Absolutely. Joel chapter 2, please. For time's sake, we'll just look at verse 24 and 26. Joel chapter 2. Joel chapter 2. It says, and the floors shall be full of wheat, and the fat shall overflow with wine and oil. It says, and ye shall eat in what? Plenty, and be satisfied, and praise the name of the Lord your God, that I dealt wondrously with you, and my people, in terms of finances, shall never be ashamed. Do you believe that? God is going to change the stories of people. Look, it will be, the Bible says, when the Lord turn again the captivity of Zion. For many of us, it will be like a dream. People will look at you. Without the assistance of any uncle or auntie, you will rise. It will be a mystery. God will use you to prove that the rain has fallen upon your land. Genesis chapter 2. You do mighty things, you do glorious things. You're a faithful God, awesome is your name. Two verse five. 
Genesis chapter 2 from verse 5. Listen. It says, And every plant of the field before it was in the earth, and every herb of the field before it grew, he said, For the Lord God had not caused it to rain upon the earth, and there was no man to till the ground. When you read the verse before it, it says how that there was no vegetation. Why? Because the rain had not come. When the rain falls, fruitfulness begins. Immediately. Immediately. There is a relationship between that dimension of the spirit and your prosperity. And I want you to believe it. I have prayed this into my own life. I have received it. I have believed it with all my heart. This year, I will not argue with the word of God. Leviticus chapter 26 from verse 4. Leviticus 26 from verse 4. I'm giving us this scripture. Let's hurry up and we'll pray. Leviticus chapter 26 from verse 4. It says, then I will give you rain. When? And this is the season. The Lord has spoken to us. He said, I will give you rain in due season. And what will be the result? And the land shall yield her increase. And the trees of the field shall yield her fruit. In the name of the Lord Jesus. May that happen for somebody. Amen. Brothers and sisters, I have learned in my little life that the race is not to the swift. The battle is not to the strong. Hallelujah. Joseph slept in one night as a servant, as a slave, a property of Egypt. He woke up the next day as the man in command. That would be somebody's story. When the gentleman shared about his UK, um, you know, um, the blessings of the Lord, in my mind I said, that is a drop. We are talking of an ocean. An ocean of the, the avalanche of what God will do. Men will look at you and say, whose head did you cut? You will say, no. No. It's the rain. It's the rain. Do you believe this? Or has your suffering of the past blinded you and say it's like that, it came like that? Do you not believe that God is able to make a table in the wilderness? He said they limited God by saying, can God make a table in the wilderness? A table. Deuteronomy chapter 11, verse 14. Just look at that and then we'll touch on the remaining. I have to run. Deuteronomy chapter 11. Verse 14. I just want to give us scriptures. I want you to read if you believe. One to read, everyone. What will be the result? It didn't say your neighbor's corn. There is, there is a, listen, there is an apportioning for you. Listen, this year, it's not the time you sit down and clap for others and say, you mean God did it for you? Hallelujah. You must insist. Please believe. If you've never believed God for anything, why don't you connect and believe this year? He said that thou mayest gather thy corn. And what? And what? Three things. Your corn, your wine, and your oil. When the rain falls, your corn, plenty, plenty, he will cause you to experience it. What else do we expect? Two more, right? Number six, supernatural restoration. When the rain falls, in Joel chapter 2, the coming, the outpouring, the rain and the spirit brought about the restoration. He said, and I will restore to you the years. Verse 25 of Joel chapter 2. And I will restore to you the years. I will restore to you opportunities. I don't care whether it was carelessness. I don't care whether it was arm robbery. I will restore. Everybody shout restore. restore. We have come to enforce it. The Bible says they are taking for a prey and none say it, restore. 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 He said, turn again the captivity of Zion like the streams of the Negev. For many families here, 
that the devil has made it look like his Ichabod in this year when the rain falls you will see a tree that was dry you almost want to use it for firewood God will say don't cut it at the scent of water at the scent he said there is hope for a tree even if it be cut off at the scent of water I'm prophesying to someone here it looks like you are in a, a state in your life some of us think we have messed it up there is no way there is no human way but that's when God is needed if it's still possible for you God will be resting but when it's impossible he will arise and I'm speaking to someone the way God will change your story this year it will shock you God one by one God will restore everything to the latter. Even what you said, God, is not necessary. God will say, no, no, no. I'm too committed. Restoration. Joy and peace. Restoration. For the days of tears. Restoration. Academic restoration. Financial restoration. Marital and relational restorations. Hmm. He said, rejoice not over me, my enemies. He said, though I fall, yet I will rise. While you are sitting down discussing that I died, Jesus died for only three days. While you are discussing, they say, no, he has risen. You are talking about a man who only died for 72 hours. Some of you, you have been subjects of discussion in your family. They looked at you and said, look at. Huh? It's better to even be an idol worshiper. You are mocking God. But this year, my father will arise. You will see God revisiting things that happened 10 years ago and say, I must prove a point. It's not necessary, but they have mocked my name in your life. Do you believe this? I believe it with all my heart. I believe it with all my heart. I believe it with all my heart. God is able to restore. I'd like you to say God is able to restore. And there is nothing you can't do. Oh Lord, my eyes are on you. Be magnified. Oh Lord, be And there is nothing you can do. And there is absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. Oh Lord. See him wiping your tears. In this year of the rain, you can't cry forever. That will be your song when God changes your story. Let men talk. Don't try to defend yourself. There is a defender, the God of your salvation. Oh Lord, oh Lord, be magnified. Oh in my little life that you don't cry forever. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Just let the rain fall. <laughs> when that rain falls, you will see restorations that you cannot account for. You can't even explain how it happened. Joseph, how did you become a prime minister? Honestly, I don't know. All I know is that I woke up that morning and by evening I was on a throne. Esther, how did a villager like you become the king's wife? I don't know. I didn't instigate Vashti to look for trouble. All I know is that the rain fell. See, when I say the last point, you will know what I'm saying. This year, there will be the falling of many and the rising of others. Trust me. Many 
who have made mouth and concluded on others, you will see God take people that you mocked and sat down and they will rule you. you <laughs> be careful as you speak over people because brothers and sisters, there are others who have even said, God take my life and God said, are you joking? Wait and see how I, I, I will write my name upon your life and any man that sees you will know that God is able to restore me. He says, son of man, can these bones live again? Can these bones live again? He said, only thou knowest. Only thou knowest. The rain will fall. And things will change. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The last thing that the coming of the rain will do. Is that the rain brings judgment upon people and territories who oppose God's agenda. Oh yes, there will be a rain. I told you that there will be the falling of many and the rising of many. Genesis chapter 7 verse 4. Genesis chapter 7 verse 4. Let's hurry up. After that, we'll look at chapter 19 verse 24. Genesis chapter 7 verse 4. It says... For yet seven days I will cause it to do what? To rain upon the earth. Forty days and forty nights. And every living substance that I have made I will destroy off from the face of the earth. So the rain does not just come to bless. There is a dimension of the rain that brings judgment. Are you hearing what I'm saying? When it, when it was time to judge the world, it was water. Rain came and caused judgment. There are people who have sat down and believed that they hold the destinies of people in their hands. This year, they will receive of that rain for sure. For sure, that rain will come. Listen, two things happened when it began to rain in Noah's days. It was killing all the people who were laughing at Noah. And said, Noah, for how many years? Noah, we were young, oh. We were young. Those days when you were 70 years, you were a teenager. They say, well, we are teenagers. You were now 120 years, you are still building an ark. Noah said, I know. 120 years ago, he told me rain will fall and it will still happen. And when it was time, God said, Noah, enter your ark. I will close the door by myself. When he closed the door, he said, rain, you are free to come. While the rain was killing others, it was lifting another man's ark. Same rain. Are you seeing that now? The rain was drowning noisemakers and those who have laughed at what God can do. But it lifted the ark of Noah and kept it on a mountain called Mount Ararat. Hallelujah. That rain. Many of you will hear this year that the evil doers that have refused, they, they are 95 years old, they say we won't die. We are sitting to see how you will get married when that rain falls. Are you hearing what I'm saying? See, there are men who have exchanged their life for others. Is that true? In this year of the rain, God will bring to justice. I tell you, it's, it's, there is no prayer of mercy. It's called a written judgment. It's a judgment that has been stamped and it must be executed. Hallelujah. The rain bringing judgment two scriptures you can just write it quickly genesis chapter 19 from verse 24 and exodus chapter 9 verse 23 genesis 19 24 exodus 9 23 you don't have to project it but all of these things talk about rain one time the egyptians made noise against god rain came rain of hailstones brimstones it came and landed upon all of them there will be rain this year in this country nigeria there will be rain. I saw it in visions. There are people you see bragging today. They will not see August this year. I'm telling, no, 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 no. It's, it's the truth. They will die, not just, they will die shameful deaths. God will sign upon their death that I did it. The same way terrorists take responsibility. They say we are the ones that removed that head. David removed the head of Goliath and lifted it up. I'm the one who did it. God will do certain things and leave his signature and say, I did it. Hallelujah. 
before we quickly pray, what does it take to experience the rain? We've told us what will happen, what the rain brings. What does it take to experience the rain very quickly? Number one, genuine hunger for more of God. You want to experience the Holy Spirit as the rain this year. It's not just as a prophetic word. Isaiah 44 verse 3, very quickly. Genuine hunger for more of God. That rain will only flow to those who are hungry. Those who are thirsty. Those who are serious with God. He said, for I will pour water upon who? Him that is thirsty and floods upon the dry ground. In that similitude, I will pour out my spirit upon thy seed and my blessing upon thy offspring. You must be hungry. You must be desirous for more of God. You must be desirous. That's what it takes. You must have genuine hunger. Number two, you must have a determination to see his kingdom come. The rain does not just come for nothing. The purpose of the rain is for the harvest. The purpose of the rain is to introduce a new season. You must have a determination to see his kingdom come across lives, across territories. That means if the priorities of the kingdom are not an important thing, you don't need the rain. Why do you need the rain? If you do not have a determination to see his kingdom come. So you must be determined that this year, my partnership, koinonia, my partnership with God to see his kingdom come will be uncompromised. Number three, what does it take to experience the rain? prayer. Say prayer. prayer. Heartfelt continual prayer. Zechariah chapter 10 please verse 1. Heartfelt prayers. You want to see the rain? You must pray it. You pray down the rain. Zechariah chapter 10. Zechariah 10 verse 1. We have it. Everybody read. One, two, read. Stop. He said, do what? Ask. Don't wish. He said, the moment you sense the season has come, start asking. Ask ye of who? The Lord. The owner. The owner. Ask him and say, Lord, this is the season. Let the rain come. He said, ask ye of the Lord rain in the time of the latter rain. So shall the Lord make bright clouds and give them showers of rain to every one grass in the field. Listen, listen. We are going to ask because he said we should ask. This is the season of the rain. There's gonna be a great awakening. There's gonna be a great revival in our land. There's gonna be a great awakening. And everyone who calls on Jesus, they will be saved. He said, ask for the rain. Zaria is our territory, it's our jurisdiction. Hallelujah. We must pray and say, Lord, give us the keys of this city. Give it to us. In this season of the rain, we ask for the rain. Massive salvation, massive prosperity, massive signs and wonders. A demonstration of the spirit that will make us walk like gods upon this city. Hallelujah. More grace, fresh anointing upon the messages. Fresh anointing upon the people increase of all sorts numerically spiritually all these things are the things that come with the rain testimonies and miracles for people that in this year the barren will take their children that in this year many people's situation will change these are the things that happen when the rain comes hallelujah james let's look at an example of one person who prayed 
and the rain came. James chapter 5, please. Oh, I already feel the anointing of the Spirit. Oh, my goodness. James. James chapter 5. We'll read verse 16 and 18. There's no need reading verse 17. He said, Confess your faults to one another and pray one for another that ye might be healed. Let's read the second clause. Are you ready? One to read. The effectual fervent prayer of the righteous man availed much. And let's see an example, verse 18. He said, and he prayed again. He had prayed and the heavens were shut and there was no rain. And when it was now time for the rain to come, what happened? He went back and the Bible says he prayed again. And the heaven gave rain. And as a result, the earth brought forth her fruit. So we are going to be praying. He said, ask ye rain. Ask ye rain. Whenever you see clouds forming, it tells you rain wants to come. That's why he began to pray and he told the servant, go and check. The servant said nothing. He said, I will still pray. But when he saw clouds forming, he said, that is it. That is it. Pray. And the heavens give rain financial rain spiritual rain all kinds of things we are going to see the hand of God in a very mighty way God is going to lift us and exalt us in ways that will honor him God is going to make a spectacle out of us and the goal of this first meeting tonight is to bring us into agreement because you must agree that's the purpose of this little exhortation to bring us to a point where you say, Lord, that is it. I, I believe it. I believe it. I believe it for my life. I refuse to argue. It's my season. Not koinonia season. It's my season of the rain. My season of, not a rain, the rain. I have exact expectations. We are going to be praying. And you're going to be telling the Lord, as far as it depends on me. I'm ready to play my own role. Just supply the grace. And I tell you, for many of you, January will not end. Because he said he will bring that rain in the first month. Beginning from the first month. Many of us will begin to see things happen. It's 16 days. And, and it does not take time. When rain comes, it's an avalanche. It may take time to see the formation. But if the cloud be full of rain except they are not full he said they empty themselves upon the earth hallelujah and so we trust God that he will reveal himself there will be such an outpouring upon the campus there will be outpourings of the spirit outpourings everywhere that from this place like 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 infernos of fire it will shoot to territories one of my one of my goals this year is that all of the external ministrations that God will grant me grace, I want to take this rain to those territories. Hallelujah. My focus this year is to take this rain to territories. There are people that must catch this rain. Hallelujah. I will be a dispenser of this rain. A dispenser of this rain. That you step into a place and you cause bright clouds to be open. And rain, rain just comes upon people. Unlimited breakthroughs. I told God, I said, I'm, I'm more than ready. I am I'm more committed to this work like never before. We're having our retreats tomorrow. The leaders and the workers in the house. And part of the many things we're going to be discussing is how to refire ourselves to position ourselves first to receive of this rain and to be dispensers of this rain. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And so the Lord is going to grant us grace. We are going to do three things very quickly before we conclude this service. 
Number one is we are going to pray. And I want everybody to participate inside and outside. I know that there are some of you, there's no space all around. Don't worry. Find a corner and pray. This is about your life. We are going to be praying. All of the seven expectations become your expectations for the year. We will pray it. And we will pray for grace. That dimension of the spirit to be able to play our own part. Hallelujah. And after that, I believe that God is going to release upon us the supply of his spirit to ignite this grace. It's an anointing service. Rise up on your feet. Rise up on your feet, everybody. Hallelujah. Lift your hands and lift your voice and begin to thank the Lord for this word. Give him thanks. Give him thanks everywhere, inside and outside. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Thank you for your prophetic word. It's my season of the rain and outpouring of the dimension of the spirit upon my life. I thank you. Hallelujah. your voice and pray lord i receive it i receive it it's not just a word for koinonia i receive it Lord, we receive it. Lord, we receive it. Hallelujah. Pick up your notebooks. Prayer point number two. We are going to pray all those seven expectations. If you can help us, media, fine. If it's down, no problem. Hallelujah. Those seven expectations from massive salvation of souls, one by one, salvation of, of souls, increased love and hunger for God, access to mysteries, multiplied spiritual power, dimensions of wealth, restoration, judgment. One by one, you're going to personalize it for yourself, for your family. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Please take it seriously. Lord, a harvest of souls. A harvest of souls. Let the rain bring mercy and salvation. Let the rain bring transformation in the name of Jesus Christ. As we travel around the regions of this nation, as we travel even beyond the borders of this nation, thank you, salvation, the rain, the rain of your spirit, bringing salvation, the rain of your spirit, bringing salvation, the rain of your spirit. Oh, <laughs> 
Lord, you will restore. You will restore. Restore destinies. Restore opportunities. Restore anointing. Restore mantles. Restore visions. Restore dreams. Restore graces. Let there be restoration. So take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, Lord, we demand a restoration of all the years that the Kanka worm has eaten, the Palma worm. We command a reversal of opportunities that have been lost. 
We declare judgment, judgment. The rain will bring judgment upon evil doers, judgment upon wicked men, judgment. Hallelujah. The seventh thing we say that will happen is that God will bring judgment. Hear me. There are men who have tied down the counsel of God over families. There are powers, there are forces that tie down the destinies of men. We are going to pray. Hallelujah. Still on that point. The Lord, as the rain falls, these powers, these forces, we command judgment. They must crumble because I must rise this year. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Pray like a believer. Oh yes. The forces of darkness. Ancestral forces. Covenant. Yokes of bondage. Jesus paid the price already. Jesus paid the price in sin. Jesus paid the price already. Jesus paid the price in sin. Therefore, we lose him back on account of the substitutionary sacrifice on the account of the blood of Lord Jesus. We create in hell that there be judgment upon the hands of wickedness. Hallelujah. 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 Now, before we cry for a supply of grace as we start the year, I'd like you to mention one thing that you know you need this rain to do in your life. Hallelujah. There are many things and we have prayed about some of them. But for adventure, there are expectations that many of us have. I'd like you to lift your voice and say, Lord, I make a demand. This is the season of the rain. This and that must happen in my life. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Pray. Outside, make sure you're praying. Everywhere outside, make sure you're praying. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That rain must fall. Hallelujah. But there are conditions. I'm about to pray for you. Hallelujah. You cannot do spiritual things with your strength. You need a supply of the spirit. Hallelujah. And as we begin this year, freshness. There are many of us who must start the year on a good note. I know that for most of us here, we have been having different kinds of programs, fastings, personal fastings, some sense that oh my goodness I hear the sound of physical rain in my ears physical rain hallelujah so we are going to pray 
something will come upon you. This is how to start the year. Supply of grace. No laziness. That supply of grace. Hallelujah. Lift your hands, please, as I pray for you. Lift your hands as I pray for you, inside and outside. I want to pray for you, for it takes His grace. It takes that supply of the Spirit to help you align to the conditions that will make the Holy Spirit reveal Himself as a rain. You have asked, but you have your part to play. And we have to pray. Lift your hands as I pray. Lord Jesus, I pray that in a mighty way you will come upon your people. You told us that you will come to us as the rain. As the rain. And right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ as I pray let that rain in strange dimensions and in strange proportions begin to fall on people at the count of three one two three let the rain fall right now shake it take it take it let the rain fall inside and outside inside and outside my goodness let showers of rain lord let showers of rain don't just stand watching people fall. Pray and say, Lord, I receive. Let the showers of rain fall upon everyone. The grace to pray and keep asking. The grace. We receive it, oh Lord. Fresh passion. Fresh fire. The dew of heaven. Ah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Keep the hands lifted up. Some of you will feel physical rain. Physical rain coming on you. Physical rain. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray right now by the power of the Holy Spirit that those who need the refreshing, 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 the refreshing of the rain, the refreshing of the rain, let it wash away every failure of 2014 the refreshing of the rain 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 in the name of Jesus the refreshing of the rain I command it I declare it the refreshing of the rain it comes upon you inside and outside the refreshing of the rain hallelujah now one last thing I'll do and then I'll prophesy and we're done listen lift your hands please receive this this will come heavy upon us the Lord began to tell to me about this right from retreat there is a grace that you need to run this year with there's no time for me to begin to tell us some of the things that the Lord revealed to me, but now is the time. There is a grace upon this house for everyone that is connected to run with it. And it's time to release it. I received it in the secret place. Just lift your hands. Father, you told me to stretch my hands and you will release that grace. As you showed me in the secret place, right now I release, I stand in my office and I command, take the grace for 2015. Take the grace for 2015. Take the grace, the supply of the Spirit. The supply of the Spirit. I, re I release it as I received in the secret place. I release it for your academics, for your ministry, for your business. Take the grace inside and outside for your family I release it I activate that supply I activate that supply
Alleluia. Alleluia. Please lift your hands as I prophesy into your life for the year very quickly just. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command that this year, 2015, shall be for you a year of supernatural ease. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the grace that brings ease, the grace that brings ease, I release it to your life in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that the spirit of prayer and supplication in 2015, let it fall upon your life now. Grace to pray. Grace to pray. Receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I declare that from January to December, every month becomes for you a fruitful month. In the name of Jesus. This year, they will not be going up and coming down. Your part will be as a shining light that shines brighter and brighter. In the name of Jesus, the dimension of favor that has been earmarked for you and for this house to walk in, we receive it and I release it to your life right now. Financial favor, marital favor, Hallelujah. I prophesy upon your life and upon this house. Every sinner, every soul that must be saved through your hands. This year, let the rain supply grace to bring in that harvest. In the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever you struggled with in 2014, I declare that in this year, you will not even need to fight. You will hold your peace and the Lord will fight for you. Hallelujah. I pray for everyone's finances. In this year, 2015, may the Lord do something in our lives that will cause our mouths to open with laughter. In the name of Jesus Christ, we prophesy supernatural marriages this year. We prophesy supernatural childbirth this year. We prophesy supernatural jobs in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare upon you, although it's a year of election, but in the name of Jesus Christ, I place a seal of exemption. You do not live by the sword and so you will not die by the sword. No one here Connected to this ministry, Kapata Labada, will be a victim of bomb blast, will be a victim of terrorists. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that as you travel all through this year, by air, on the road, you are protected. In the name of Jesus Christ, accident is far from your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, this is the year when we forbid you from begging. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you will be the one to bless many. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for your academics this year. Step into an unusual dimension of mental acumen. This is the year you will record five points. Ay, 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 ay. Oh my goodness. This is the year first class students will arise. Many of you will come with the spirit of Elijah and you will beat the standards you have set before. Hallelujah. I pray for you. This year, your hunger for God from January till December, nothing will kill that hunger. The same way you are excited about God, that's how you'll be excited the last koinonia service. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Everyone that mocked your God in 2014, 
that said if your God is alive let him prove himself I'm prophesying to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that the mighty one of Israel will arise and speak for you this year hallelujah 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 lift your hands wave it to Jesus and give him thanks now keep standing very quickly there are people here inside and outside you've never made Jesus Lord of your life this is a good time to start probably someone invited you maybe you're a new student maybe you are new in this city maybe you just came visiting or you've given your life to Christ at one time but you have not committed yourself to be serious with spiritual things and you're saying man of God this year I mean business with him those two categories of people please find your way to the front right now right now wherever you are inside and outside don't wait for anybody to come rush and come to the front and I'll be ready to pray with you very quickly those who are saying this year I mean business with the Lord please come and stand here celebrate them they are coming they are coming the devil is a liar not after this prayer outside I believe that there are many people leave your seat and come it's called koinonia the place of intimacy the place of encounter you're saying Lord I want to start afresh with you I'm tired of pretending I mean business with you God bless you keep coming keep coming koinonia celebrate them no matter how far you are outside there is still room for you in front make your way very quickly to the front hallelujah take everything that is of God very seriously this year praise the Lord those of you in front lift your hands as I lead you to pray you are not reciting a poem you have to believe in your heart for your confession to make sense for your confession to be able to bring you salvation so say after me Lord Jesus I truly believe in you I make you the Lord of my life I believe you died for me and you rose again for my justification I confess your lordship and I receive your life into my spirit I declare from today that I'm a child of God from today that I leave the past and I contend for the future I declare that every lifestyle and every habit that has tied me down this year I make a fresh start in the name of Jesus now keep your hands lifted as I pray for you father there is no one who comes to you that you will cast away I'm asking in the name of Jesus that this salvations will be genuine and these commitments will be genuine I curse every power right now I curse every spirit there are some of you here there are powers that are tying you down and stopping you from making progress I command that they leave you now never to return in the name of Jesus Christ thank you Jesus thank you so much for making this decision now I'd like you to follow the ushers just see the gentlemen waving their hands there just at our back i'd like you to follow them they will have your details welcome you more warmly and give you some instructions koinonia celebrate them <laughs> hallelujah hallelujah praise the lord before we take the announcements can you help me celebrate pastor jakes and bishop stan these guys are so busy now so having them around to start off the year with us is a great blessing Thank you guys. God bless you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Um, before we end, I'll come and just speak blessings upon the house. Um, now, all those who are worshiping with us for the first time, what a, what a blessing. What a blessing. And this is to encourage every one of us. The Bible says, do the work of an evangelist. Make up your mind that this year you will never come for Koinonia alone. Hallelujah. We have prayed you are an evangelist. Hallelujah. You're going to invite your friends, invite your loved ones, and so many people to partake of what um, the Lord is doing in your life. So let's have those who are worshiping with us inside and outside. If this is your first time, please make your way to the front. We want you to feel welcome. We love you. Thank you so much for coming. 
Thank you so much for coming. Make sure nobody sits close to you who is worshiping with us for the first time. No matter how shy they are, encourage them. Encourage them. Bless you, bless you, bless you. God bless you. Koinonia, celebrate them. You can do more than this. So much ladies and gentlemen for coming this is koinonia hallelujah thank you for making our time to come we're here every friday and god is doing mighty things in our lives i guarantee you that you will never be the same in the name of jesus christ something will happen to you that will change your life radically praise the lord we want to pray for you there is a blessing and when we bless you you are blessed hallelujah saints of god stretch your hands and let's prophesy remember you are anointed so stretch your hands and speak over their lives we bless you in the name of jesus christ you become passionate about spiritual things from today every weight upon your life we command it to be removed we declare that from today your hunger for god increases and you will experience breakthroughs in your life beyond your imagination May the Lord do mighty things through you. May the Lord bless the works of your hands in the name of Jesus. Once again, thank you very much, especially for those of us who came outside Zaria. We appreciate you. You are always welcome. Um, this is to also announce that Zaria is like a Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.